going on guys hope everybody's safe and well at home today we're gonna go over some exercises that you can do while you're at your house or any space you have in your backyard what we want to do is focusing on adding value during these times when we don't have all the equipment we normally have before we get started I just want to show you some things that you can use if you don't have access to these it's okay I'll give you variations but here's what we want if you have any form of weight, I got a kettlebell here, but you can use, I've put um, canned foods in a bag and hold it in front of me. You can use, load up a backpack, fill it with books, whatever you got to get some form of load, we're going to want something like that. If you have mini bands, that's great. If you don't, that's also okay. I'll show you variations that you can do without it. And as always, I'm sure most of you have a foam roller at home. This is a crucial piece that you should have. Uh, you know, no matter what kind of athlete you are, but especially for hockey players, if you have one of these, that's awesome. Also, if you don't have um, a sliding surface, you can really just use your socks. But if you don't, you can grab a towel. See, I just grabbed a rag right here. I fold it up into four, and then I can use it for certain exercises where I want to be sliding and focusing on using one leg at a time, which we're always doing on nice. So once you got all those things, it's time to get into the workout. As we know, before we work out, we want to prepare the body for the movements that we're about to do. Just like at Journey in the gym, we're going to do our mobility and then a quick warm-up, dynamic warm-up to get us ready to go. The first exercise we're going to do is we're going to start with the 90-90 flow. We're going to get into the 90-90 position. We want our heel to be in line with our knee. Similarly at the back, I'll show you from the side, I want this leg to be a 90-90. And for right now, I want to go from side to side. So if you want to start from here, it might be a good starting point for you with your hands on the floor to make it easier. And you're going to flow from 90 to 90. If you're able to, pop your hands up, keep the spine nice and tall, and you're rolling in and out. Okay, we spend a lot of time at home sitting, whatever you're doing, playing video games, watching TV. We want to get in and open up our hip. The next one we're going to do is a quad hip flexor stretch. We're going to start in a tall kneeling position. Think about having the knee over the heel, core is nice and tight, shoulders stacked over the core, over the pelvis, and we want to push our bum forward. So we don't want to lean all the way forward here. We're not going to get a stretch in our quad and our hip there. So we want to stay tall, keep the core tight, Imagine someone is going to punch you in the stomach. That's how tight I want you to brace your core. And then squeeze that back glute. So again, from the side, my pelvis position is here, and I'm getting a good stretch here. If you have a couch or something at home, <laughs> so you got to keep it tight no matter what. You never know when Adrian's going to come around and get you. Right? If you have something at home, you can put your back foot up, a roller, a couch, anything. Also, if I don't, then I could just use my hand and grab my foot in this position. Again, get in my alignment, nice and tall, core is nice and tight, and I'm focusing on getting that to position. Next one we're gonna do is a fan favorite, everybody loves it, goalie stretch or frog stretch. We're gonna start with our knees, square position, heels out, coming down to the forearms and just pushing our hips back. Okay, in this position we're getting into the adductors, which is the inside of the thigh, but we're also sinking back into that hip. Three. So from here, we could come up to our hands, bring our heels in towards us. So from the side, you'll see, bring my heels in so I can sink back lower and I'm getting into my higher adductors there. It's going to help us keep our groin nice and strong. The next exercise is if you have a foam roller, that's great. If you don't, I'll show you a variation that you can do without it. I'm going to put the foam roller in between the legs. My lower back is pushing into the floor so I can brace and engage my core. And then I'm driving up and then I want to squeeze that foam roller as hard as I can for 10 seconds and then bring it down. Okay, we could do three times 10 seconds hold with that drive and squeeze. If you don't have a foam roller, you can use your hands, drive up, and then push into your hands with keeping your hands pushing your knees out. If you don't, if you can't use your hands, you can't quite reach your knees as well. Then grab anything, a block, a book, anything that you could squeeze in between your legs to create that tension and that contraction inside the groin. Okay? The next one we're going to do is just a Kozak squat. 
So you're going to sink into the lateral lunge position. So start tall, widen out the feet, get in a good athletic position, just like in my stride. Knees coming over the toes, I'm sinking into my hips. And then from here, I'm just going to switch and transition from side to side. Be aware, think about your hockey position, and think about using your arms just like you would in a stride position without popping up too high. You want to stay nice and low, like a rope is pulling your butt down and across. And I'm sinking across. I don't know, Adrian, how's my stride? Okay, the next one we're going to do A skips on the spot. If, you don't, if you're in your living room, you don't have a lot of space, it's great to do it on the spot. If you can move forward, back, that's great. I'll leave it up to you. For me, I'm going to do it on the spot just to show you. For reference, I'm going to think about getting into that tall position and the balls of my feet on the outside foot, knees up, and the toes up on this side. And I'm just going to switch. Just switch, 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 switch. Okay, you can turn it into an A skip and kind of go slowly forward, but just on the spot. And again, I'm thinking hip pocket, eye socket with my hands in my transition. I really want to focus on the small details. So again, just going, getting nice and tall. I can do about 10, 15 of those. And as you can see, my heart rate's already through the roof. Okay, then we're just going to do a little quick feet acceleration. Again, on the spot, two inch runs, quick feet, slow hands. Take, do it for five seconds, take a quick rest. And then we'll go in and out again there for about five or six reps. Then we want to go high knee, two and stick, just kind of like we do in a ladder drill. So we're going to go one, two, stick. So I'm going to think of, imagine my ladder here, one, two, stick on the outside. One, two, stick on the outside. One, two, stick. One, two, stick. One, two, stick. Okay, and we want to do about five of those on each side. So now that we've done our warm up and our dynamic warm up, we've done a little bit of mobility, we're going to get into the meat and potatoes of the workout. So remember that load we were talking about. Some form of load that we want to use to help us enhance this exercise and make it a little bit more beneficial and increase the amount of muscle fibers that we're using. So if you don't have a kettlebell, again, canned foods in a bag, backpack, books, honestly, Anything, pick up a brick off of it or a rock on the side of the street, anything you can use to add a little bit of value. We're going to get in our squat position, shoulder width apart, toes slightly to the outside. Remember, we want to set the knees out, so we don't want our knees caving in, going to this valgus position. We really want to think about bracing our core nice and tight, and then the tripod position on our foot. Heel, big toe, pinky toe. Okay, three positions on our foot, and I, think, I want to think about sitting right down here. We're thinking about sitting right down. My knees are pushing to the outside. I'm evenly distribute, distributing my weight in my foot. And I'm going to hold it here for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And I'm going to come up and you're going to do 12 reps of those. After you've done 12 reps with the five seconds holds, your legs are going to be feeling pretty good. I want you to drop your, your weight. And as soon as you've done that, you're doing squat jumps here, explode up, reset. I want you to think about controlling the landing, pause at the bottom, and then explode up. Again, knees outside over the toes, knees are not caving in. The last exercise for the superset is going to be a glute meet side plank. We're trying to work on the lateral hip, we've got to get into those, those glutes. So if you have a band, that's great. I want you to put the band on. If you don't, then you don't need it, it's no problem. I'm going to pop my knee at about... 45 degrees, I want to have my heel in line with my butt. So I'll show you from the side, my heel is in line with my butt. And I'm going to come up and forward on this knee. So I've created a bridge off of my knee. My foot here could be at 90 to make it easier. If I want to get harder, I could bring this leg out. If I want to make it really hard without the band, I can kind of hover this leg up and down, all while keeping this top shoulder back. And here I want to stay about 30 seconds. Again, if you have the band, you can pop the band on, put it above the knees, maintaining that position, and then again, you can still do all the same three variations. You're just adding a little bit of extra tension there. Okay, so that's our first block. That's A. We got our first squat with the hold. We got our squat jumps, and then we got our side planks from the glute 
mean from the knee. We want to do three sets of the courting reps. First one is 12. Then you're going to do 8 to 10 of the jumps. And you do 30 seconds on each side of the side planks. Now we're going into the B. B1, our first exercise, is going to be uh, three variations of push-ups. Five of each. So the first one's going to be diamond. Then we're going to be neutral. Then we're going to be doing offset with the jump if you can. So the first one is going to be a diamond position. We want to create that triangle with our, our hands. We're going to come down and we're going to do five reps there. Once you've done your five reps, come to the neutral positions, shoulder elbow, elbow over the wrist, stacking the joints, keeping the elbow tight, and we're going to do five there. Once you're finished, we're going to offset our hands. One slightly forward, one slightly backward, and we're going to try to jump and switch our hands in that position. Jump, jump, jump. If you're having a tough time, you can just switch at the top without jumping, that's no problem. The second exercise we're gonna do is a form of dips, okay? So, um, if you can follow me over here, right now I, I can use anything to get me elevated. I see this block here, I can pop my feet up, and I'm gonna keep my elbows nice and tight to my body, drop my butt towards the floor, and dig up. If you don't have anything in and around your house, you could pop up into a tall, Bridge position and do your dips just like that from the floor. Okay, we're gonna go for 20 reps for the dips. So five of each push up, go right into the dips, and then we're doing a tall plank with a shoulder tap. So again, shoulder over elbow over wrist, tall plank, and we're gonna do 10 shoulder taps on each side. Now that we're finished, our A and B, we're gonna go on to our C set. We've got three more exercises to do before we finish this workout. So, I'm gonna get down onto the floor and we're gonna start with toe touches. I wanna think about keeping my lower back pushing into the floor, my feet are hovering over the floor, my hands are off the ground, and I'm gonna reach and touch. Reach and touch. Reach and touch. Reach and touch. I wanna do about 10 reps on each side, okay? The next exercise we're gonna do for C2 is gonna be a dead bug. We're gonna push that lower back in the floor, knees are 90 degrees, opposite arm, opposite leg, really thinking about control, using that, this exercise to work on proprioception, being aware of where we are in space. We wanna kick this bottom leg out as far as we can and then return it back to that starting position. We want to do 10 of those guys on each side, okay? And then again, for our C3, we're going to be doing a prone W. So prone means we're lying on our stomach. We want our thumbs to the roof. My back legs are going to come up using the hamstrings and the glutes. And I want to drive my arms up and back. Think about drawing my shoulder blades down and back and squeezing for three seconds. Reset on the floor, drive up, squeeze and hold for another three seconds, and we're going to do 10 of those. Once you finish this workout, great job, make sure you cool down, stay hydrated, make sure you're still fueling and preparing your body to be successful. Hope you guys enjoyed this workout, and we'll see you again soon for the next one.